Hey everybody, Mr. Bubba Derek here. Welcome to the show. You know, um, I got a video that's uploading right now that I did. It took that one uh, two and a half hours for it to upload. It's a uh, 4K video. It'll probably take enough time for this to upload too. You know, um, a couple months ago, I made a video to uh, Silent, the Silent one, and um, it was called Don't Return to the Vomit. And y'all hear me say, I'm going to leave these people alone. And then I come across something they said, or I come across a video, and I wind up jumping on them. And I realized something. Every time I do it, I'm returning to the vomit. But what do you mean you're returning to the vomit? Well, if you saw the sermon, you know what I'm talking about. Returning to the vomit. Um, I came to this sector to get information. I basically came to this sector to get some information because I wanted to be able to have my door open, be able for the cat to go back and forth, and be able to see what time of day it was, and let some sunlight in, but still have my ceiling, and have my screen, and be able to have the lights on, and be able to do my business. And these people did not help me with that. I never needed to come here at all. This has really been a distraction. <clears throat> From the get-go, it's been a distraction. So why do I keep coming back to the vomit? Because I'm not practicing. I'm not practicing the knowledge that I've been given. Because see, I have the gift to listen or notice things and point out the inaccuracies. It's a gift. Just because you got a gift don't mean you're supposed to use it all the time. And that's what I've been doing. You know, I could watch somebody say something, type something, and see stuff nobody else see and be ready to pounce on. It's a gift. Just because it's a gift don't mean you got to use it. Because what happens is it makes people afraid to come around me because if they slip up, they know I'm going to jump on them. And so it's easier not to come around, right? And that's why people think that they, because of the way I look or where I live, they think that they can get the best of me and it don't work out that way. It doesn't work out that way. They always lose. I never lose. I haven't lost a YouTube yet. I never lose. But what have I gained? Because, see, if I keep coming after that person, whatever punishment God had in mind for them, for whatever they did to me, when I keep coming back, I'm pushing God out the way. And I'm trying to handle it. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you just say what you got to say and step aside and just stand... And then you let God go fight for you. And you go about your life. And then one day you'll pick up the paper and you'll see, you know, this person had this hardship, had that hardship. And you go, okay. But see, human beings are impatient. We want just as quick. We don't want to wait. God has a plan. When you keep sticking your nose in, you push God to the side. 
and you give the devil a reason to say to God, see, you about to take out my worshiper, my follower, my demon. But look, your supposed holy person is doing the same thing. So how you going to punish them and not punish your own? You can't do that. So every time we keep bucking up, we get a devil or leg to stand on. And what happens is, it takes God a lot longer to deliver the punishment. And the devil knows this. He goes out of his way to bless that person even more. To make you come after that person even more. Which holds God back from delivering the, the justice. That's why you can't keep going back to the vine. When a dog eats something that's bad for it, it spit it up. It go back and eat it again. And spit it up and go back and eat it again. You got to break that cycle. And I'm going to start doing that today. Because... What was the reason that I came into this sector? To get help. Did I get the help I needed? No. Instead, I got ridiculed. I got made fun of. And that's why I went on attack. But I did on my own what I wanted to do. And I picked up the things. I learned about conference projectors. I learned about ceiling projectors. I'm the only person in my area that got a dual setup. The only person in my area that got a dual setup. With the help of the Holy Spirit, I gave you four different ways to do your screen. All of them. For less than $20. That's the good. What's the bad? I ran, I ran Sowin off of YouTube. I jumped on Crow and beat him down. And all his people. Alejandro and whoever. And also, I jumped on Kenny Bird. And some of you would say, well, if Kitty Bird introduced you to the conference projector, if Kitty Bird introduced you to the ceiling, why would you jump on him? Because Kitty Bird keeps saying that he's blessed by God. But Every time one of his videos come on the screen, I can point out five or six things that he doing to scam the people. His lighting tricks, the way he hide the screen, the way he uses different color lights and LEDs to distract you. How come there ain't never no white light, but he keep talking about a bright environment. See, I see these things. And I point them out. Well, if I see them, you should be able to see them. So, do you really need me to point it out to you? I'm asking the question. If I can see it, why can't you see it? So, is it really necessary for me to jump on him? When he's not doing well. How many houses has that man been in? I've been watching a couple of his videos. And when you see the places, they look trashed. And now he's been sued for $3,000. By his last landlord, and he living in a garage or warehouse that don't even have no windows, don't even know what time of the day it is. 
That's somebody that's blessed by God. A, a child of God can't keep a place. He got this great technology product, but he can't keep a home. He got money for LEDs and purple and blue lights and, and, and got money for all that stuff, but he can't pay his rent. Seems to me like he's already being punished. Why am I adding to the punishment? I'm asking the question. I think I've made enough videos that people should know that the man is a scammer. The man is not a child of God. He keeps saying God this. But with nobody's help, with nobody's help, I say nobody's help. Look at what I created. Even though we listen to the regular music, we listen to it in Dolby Atmos. I got two giant screens. I got two boardies short throws. I got one long throw and I got four. Actually, I got five. I got uh, two ultra short throws. I got three short throws and I got five long throws projectors. You see how small my apartment is? What am I going to do with all that stuff? You know, every time you turn around, I'm going out and I'm out somewhere. I told y'all I was going to get my teeth fixed. And we've been to the dentist. How many times? And we go back on the 9th. And then we get the uh, teeth removed on the uh, 27th of November. <clears throat> on the 11th, I go see the physical therapist, it's a possibility they're going to give me a deep power chair. I went from having no money to being able to go out Every day, if I want. Why am I going to put my blessings on the line? Going after somebody who obviously is going downhill. It's not stable. How you claim you got contracts? And you can't pay your rent. Now see, because I don't watch you. YouTube is sending one of your videos across. And I'll be doing something else and just look up and be like, oh my God, look at this. I got a bigger video about it. I can't believe this man put this up here. I was hoping that you would see the mistakes you were making. You were correct them, but you keep making the same mistakes. And I'm able to point everything out in the video. Just point it out. Time and time again. But you sit there and act like you so whole yet and now when you weren't even paying your rent. How you don't pay your rent? You know, the third was on the Sunday. So they gave us our money Friday, you know, the first. You know what I did on the first? Because I was already going out. Whether we got our money or not, I was already going out. But you know what I did? I went on and paid my rent on the first. Even though they don't expect it to the third, I paid it on the first. You know why? Because it was a bonus that we got our money early. But I didn't need it early. You understand what I'm saying? 
So you keep talking about how much money you making. You ain't paying your rent. How you making money and ain't paying your rent? I'm just asking. You're not paying your rent, sir. And I watched the videos. You had that that nice house. I like that. No, I actually no, I wouldn't. Years ago, I like to have a house that big. But man, you had, you tore that place up. You tore up every place you been to. And what you got to show for it? Now you in a garage or a shack. Is is that a warehouse or wherever you at? You don't have no windows and you can't tell what time of the day it is. How are you blessed by God? You cursed. You ain't gone from place to place to place. They say you were living in a laundry room at one point. A laundry room? I don't know. How you gonna tell me that God blessed you? If God blessed you, you will be succeeding. If you were blessed, you would you would be successful. You're not successful. You can't pay your damn rent. You got evicted. How you successful? You ran. You owe them people three thousand dollars. You ran. And then you come on here bragging about you got all these court cases filed against somebody else, and you worrying about getting somebody locked up, and you ain't paying your rent. Who would buy something from you? Somebody that don't even pay the damn rent. How can they trust you to ship, ship, ship that product? Well, you don't even pay your rent. Crowbert on vacation, he actually came back today and I watched his video. For the first time, I watched his video all the way through. He still had to mention me in it, son of a bitch. <laughs> Still had to mention me. I know I hurt your feelings. But uh next time you mention me, you mention me by name. Not no damn Java. I call you by your name. I might call you out your name, but I call you by your name. And he sit there, talk about, uh, he, he been busy, he doing other things. He spent over an hour talking about you, Kenny. So he ain't much better. That's why I said I believe people will. To the solid one, I know you're a prima donna too. If you need to come back, whatever. I won't come attack it. I'm going to walk away from the vomit and not return to it. This is my last video talking to anybody in the sector. Anybody. So, don't mention me. I won't mention you. But if something get back to me, it's going to be hard to not come back to the vomit. But I got to pray or ask God for strength on that. Because I'm doing good right now. Why do I want to tie my wagon to y'all who ain't doing good? Crow taking down his website. Well, you know, I'm taking out. He full of crap. <laughs> y'all need to stop. I'm doing, I'm busy, but, but you got time to spend a whole hour or something talking about another man. Mm-hmm. Yep. And see... I, I told Kenny in the description <clears throat> before I even watched Crow's video. I told you I made that video three and a half hours ago. It's, it's in 4K like this one be. So I guess this would be up around 2, 3 in the morning. But, uh, you know, I got everything not everything I wanted, but I'm on the pace to get what I wanted.
I got somebody to spend time with. I can lay down and enjoy both my screens. Even though, you know, the, the ceiling won't, the, the plain white won't give you no, no background levels, no deep blacks, but it still looks good. Like I said, you can see the difference. Now, they'll give you a million reasons about why. What I got don't look good. But when I go look at their stuff, they can't tell me anything. Because see, I asked Kenny weeks ago, if you trust your paint and it's so good, use your wall instead of using those months. He doesn't trust his paint. That's why he uses the monitors. You see me use my projectors. Not just as a TV. Not just to watch movies. I also do web browsing on my projection screens. And if your, stuff, if your technology is better than mine, you should be able to do the same thing, sir. And the fact that you won't do it. It's an admission that you know your stuff ain't no good. You know it. I ask you to use the whole wall. To stop blasting so many lumens that you get all that overspray and you still keep doing it. To stop lying about the lighting, you keep doing it. So I'm gonna, you're not gonna change. So why should I waste my time? And why should I get in the way of what God got coming for you? Because you definitely heading down the hill somewhere. I don't know if you're going to be homeless. I don't know if a customer is going to come attack you. I don't know what's going to happen. But you the one talking, walking around, I got a gun, I'm going to shoot somebody in the chest and all that. A child of God ain't scared. What are you doing that makes somebody want to come hurt you? What are you doing that make people want to come to your house? Why are you constantly threatening to sue somebody and send them to jail? Did that sound godly? So I'm going to step out the way of the fray and let God do what he may. Because God got something planned for you. What it is, I don't know. Because the one thing that you can't say, the colors look how they pose to look. The people faces look how they pose to look. The flowers of the birds look how they pose to look. And I get the great contrast and I've shared with the world how to do it. I've taken the people with me to buy the products. You see me put the stuff up. What more I got to do? I've done everything. If the people don't watch the video, that's not my fault. If the people still buy from y'all, that's their fault. I've done my job. I've informed them. Same thing with religion. You can tell somebody what to do, but they got to want to do it. So they still believe the crap that you tell them. And go buy your product. That's that dumbness. But they don't do the research because the videos are up. And I'm sorry, but um, if you tell me that you can get the same thing for twenty dollars versus paying 
$60, paying $200, paying $400, or next year paying $1,700. If you're going to give these crooks that money, give it to them. That's your, that's your business. I showed you a better way. It's up to you what you want to do. I even done something they won't do. I showed you four different ways with four different levels of contrast. If you want, if you want the brightest whites, I showed you how. If you want deep, rich black, I showed you how. Look at that. They, they, they ain't no black. They got black down there. No black. They got black down there. I know they ain't no black. It sure is pretty. It sure is pretty. Yeah. All I did was take that parody and brought it down there. That's what we did. We took that parody. See, they ain't no black levels. But. Beautiful. So, like I said, I'm going to leave these people alone. And let them rot in their own hell. I ain't got to get down there with him. I actually got a life. Look at that. No, nothing up there. Look up here. Beautiful, ain't it? But there ain't no day on there no black. Look at that. Look at this. You see the light from the projector. That's what that blue is. That blue is the light from the but I mean not the projector from the uh zapper. The light from that was that you see any black? Look down there. Look at that black. Where's the black? In that purity. No black. Look at that. No black. See, I ain't gotta sit here and uh keep telling you. You can see it. And when I do my videos, you'll see it. I ain't gotta tell you. The fact that I could do what none of them could do. All we gotta do is just back out. We wanna go to eBay? Are we zoomed in? Come out. We on eBay. Y'all wanna go shopping? Or what y'all wanna buy? Uh, let's look at watch pattern. Go to go to best match. Lowest first. Did you do this, Kitty? Oh, crow. Now, this came today, and I tried to put the other band, and, and it wouldn't fit the thing, so I ruined it. So we need another band. I don't want that one. That, that looks cheap. Uh, 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 uh. What are these? I want something nice. 
Do it by 24 minutes, but yeah. Let me see. I just, did I see a, a fit bit? Oh, what's that right there? I bet you they ain't got black. I bet you they ain't got black. I bet money they ain't got black. I bet you money they don't have black. Khaki. I ain't got some. Damn. 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 I like that. Ah, oh, I couldn't even black. I like that. Even though I, I would prefer the level look, I like the width. What are those? Uh, 293. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Eh. They nylon, I don't like that one, it's cheap. It's nylon. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute, what's that right there? It's made out of steel. Let's see, how does it, does it look like that nylon crap? Size, 24 millimeter, color, black. See how the black, oh no, that looks cheap. No, no, it looks, no, 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 we can't have that. He wants something luxurious. It's, it's a uh, 15 on the card and 20 on the other one. You know, I didn't set up a trip today. Cause I could have, uh, I could have went out. So we looking. I'm bringing y'all with me. That was kind of nice. I want something different. It's going to stand out. <sighs> Excuse me. Looking for something really nice. I ain't seen nothing nice yet. Except for that, that one big one. Here we go. Do they got black? 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 That's the question. Do they got black? Now y'all see, whenever you see this bar, that means it's too big. Y'all go into here to the zoom and take it down. See the bar go away? You go and get projector. See, you watch me, you learn something. Look at that, out of stock. Out of stock. Only khaki. Nobody with no damn khaki. Nobody with no khaki, khaki, khaki. I just like it because it look cool. Let me see. Is that the whole watch? Oh, it is the wristband. I don't need the whole watch. What is it? I don't need the watch. I just need the band. Yeah. Was that it? That's it? Ain't no continuation? Alright then, no big deal. Just back out. We'll just back out. Doesn't matter what you look at. Can I have a guy do his body laying down? <laughs> That's what I say. She, I'm blessed. Give me a second here. Uh. Here we go. 24 millimeter, sorry, 
I was using the keyboard. You gotta see it. I'm thinking about getting the lighted up keyboard. Alright. Y'all ready? Oh, hold on. We ain't, we ain't ready yet. We, we, we gotta do our sort now. Price low to high. Because, you know, we all on the budget. Delivery. Baby, you bump that projector. Because look, y'all, it's over to the side. I don't like that. And not a big deal, but I don't like that. Let's see what we got here. Hey, look at the camouflage. I hate to admit, that's kind of cute. <laughs> look at the camouflage. But now we need Raven Colors. Uh, uh, what about that, girl? Nah, I got to think about it. I want something that looks robust to class. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh. See, that's that's nylon. I like the class. That'd be nice, but I don't want nylon. I want something that's gonna stand out. What about right there? How much is that? Seven ninety nine. Let's check it out. What's the, what's the head in, in purple? There ain't no red on the uh, Ravens. Oh, they got different colors. Uh, what's that? Okay. Is it now? Okay. No, I don't have black or purple. And it's not long with that. <sighs> hey, that was 19. What the hell? Oh, that's sweet. They got in black. It's 8 to 13 colors. Okay. All black. That's the same thing. Look the same. What the same. So now, now I'll let you do it? No. Nope. Yeah. I don't see nothing. They're jumping out at me. They ain't got no black. Uh, 14 millimeter. They ain't got 24, 24 millimeter. And what's that with that? All the colors are sissy. They all sissy colors, y'all. I don't want that mess. I don't know why I want that mess. See, even though we not live, I act like I'm live. So even if somebody 
We have to roll through it. Okay, how much is that? Man, that 24 millimeter? Can we get it black at 24 millimeter? I was saying. Can we get it in black? They got a two day shipping. I'm going to add it to the cart. You sure it's 24 millimeter? It's got to be 24 millimeter. Wait a minute, I just passed it. Hold on. Yeah. Size 24 millimeter. Add it to the cart. All right. What else we got down cart? Come on now. I would get down on that keyboard. Tell me what I want to say. Colors. Does they got purple? Yeah. They got 24 millimeter. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. I'm trying to see all the colors. Wait a minute. Sorry, y'all. They, they, they don't have Ravens purple. Black silver. Black rose gold buckle. Black, black buckle. Hmm. Guess we go with that one. Now, do they have it in 24 millimeter? Select size. 24 millimeter. Did they have it? Okay. Is it black? Are you sure it's 24 millimeter? 24 millimeter. And they want a uh, 1049. Add the cart. All right, so I got two to choose from. Let's search for something else. Uh, 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 uh. I was thinking about getting the five TV stick. But the problem is, I got two projectors. Do I have to buy one for each projector? Or will they work together? Do I have to work two different remotes to get the same thing on the screen? Because I'm on Amazon right now. I mean, why would I buy an Amazon stick when I'm on, I'm on Amazon right now? I'm going to write the Prime video. And I can see everything. Everything's right here. I ain't better here in a minute. Wait, what they got on here? Oh, they got Justice League. We got to check that out. <laughs> Wrestling release. Hell's Kitchen. Megan. What's that about? Underrated. I might check that out. Transformers. The Equalizer. Spider. Spider. Man. The cartoon equalizer. <laughs> Hollow Knights. <laughs> uh oh. Right now, we, we might have to. Uh, we might have to watch it to do. Project Runway. Michael Jackson was searching for Neverland. Michael Jackson was searching for those drugs. That's why he did. And he ain't need those drugs. And he ain't need to 
He mess around with his nose and all that stuff. But you know what? He kept he kept going back to the vomit. And that's when I'm stop doing. So <clears throat> Kenny Bird. Crow. Ollie. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. I'm not coming back to the vomit. So don't mention me. Don't try to call me back. Y'all have a nice one. Cause I'm gonna enjoy my life. And I'm gonna enjoy my two 720 piece greens. And if y'all don't like you damn bad, get over it. But uh I'm not coming back to the vomit. Peace everybody, Minister Bubba Derek, and I'm out. Take it easy, yeah.